All right, friends, welcome back. So we're just gonna jump into it here. Um, checking out some stuff on the dev server. Of course, you know, I had to jump into the uh, A10 first. Um, from what I saw today on some of the live uh, dev streams is that there's gonna be two versions of the A10. We're gonna have an A10 early, which is gonna be the premium version. And then there's gonna be an A10 late, um, which of course will be in the tech tree. The main differences right now look like the A10 early is going to, it's just going to be a weapons difference. The A10 A early is going to have um, just two AM9Ls and everything else should be the same. And of course the tech tree version, the, the late is going to be able to carry up to four AM9Ls, um, which, you know, a slight difference there. And depends on how far you are away from grinding this thing. I didn't see where the, where the, uh, the tech tree version would be. Um, but this one is at BR 9.7. Uh, the premium so you know regardless you get am9 l's um, and all aspect infrared missile so you should be able to defend yourself um, from some things you know this isn't going to be an air rb monster um, and i think we all know that uh, this is going to shine in ground forces as it should so just some initial thoughts on the a10 um, and you know it's the dev server so there's going to be some bugs and of course, there's a disclaimer, um, all anything and everything could change. But so far, I mean, the gun um, seems to work fairly well. The uh, systems on board uh, seem to work fairly well. I use the bombs, I use the rockets, I use the Mavericks. Um, it all seemed to work very well. The flight model doesn't seem too bad either. Of course, it's slow um, and we all knew that was going to be a thing. Um, but other than that, it's a, a beautiful model, the cockpit. You know, the cockpit be, could be a little bit better, um, but it is what it is right now, and I suspect later on it'll probably get better. But right now, the model looks beautiful. The engines sound amazing. I'm pretty pleased with the work uh, Gaijin has put into this. And like I said um, in my previous video, I expect us to get more versions of the A10, um, A10C, you know, which will give us those advanced precision kill weapon system laser guided rockets which the a10a does not have i also expect maybe we'll get the uh, the ya10b which is that two-seater version and um it's kind of the rocket run is coming up here and uh and after that you know uh, who knows maybe we'll even get the ya10 uh, ya9 I, I don't know about that though if we're getting the versions that we have right now all right so uh enough a10 stuff Let's get to uh, something else. All right, so moving on to the LAD AD. I, I like this so far. I think this thing is going to be uh, pretty nice. Uh, it's got, of course, the, the gun, the 20, 25 millimeter gun. I think that is the uh, stingers. And it also has the rockets. So, um, you know, I'm still tr trying to figure out my controls on the dev server. So I didn't really have everything um, uh, matched up correctly. And also think uh, maybe some stuff isn't working. I couldn't really get the rockets um, to, to do anything other than just fire along with the gun. Um, but that could be on my end of it. But uh, so far the stingers work really well. I mean you can see me get this this kill which was a couple kilometers away uh, way out there. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased right now with the uh, LAV AD. Um, you know I thought the BR could be a little bit lower. Um, but it seems Gaijin's putting this thing at 10.0 um, from what I saw. But, you know, it is what it is. At least, uh, at least we're getting it. Next up, we got a uh, surprise. I like this. This is the T55 AMD-1. So this 8.3 gem um, rocks a hard kill APS. So if this stays at 8.3, I mean, you'll finally be able to, to have an APS system that's useful at this lower tier. Um, and you know, these tow missiles are being defeated one after another. So um, I, I, don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll stay at 8.3, maybe not, um, but I'm liking what I'm seeing here. And you can see how many charges the, uh, the APS system has uh, right up there, that little number. So they're counting down as it goes. So you're gonna be able to withstand a, a lot of, uh, of anti-tank guided missiles and um, and just keep moving forward like the W gang is um, with these Russian tanks. 
So I like this. Um, I'm going to be grinding it out pretty fast and adding to my adding to my 8.3 lineup uh, for Russia, uh, which is already pretty strong, um, especially with the uh, the T55 uh, premium that's already uh, at 8.3. All right, and here we go with Germany and the Puma IFV. I am so glad to see this thing uh, for German mains. This is a beautiful um, infantry fighting vehicle. It is rugged. I mean, the the chemical protection that it has, you know, maybe maybe not so so useful for APFSDS, um, but this is definitely going to uh, be something for ATGM carriers uh, to deal with, and uh, and anyone trying to fire heat at this thing is uh, is going to have something to deal with um, because it looks pretty strong. The 30 millimeter gun. I mean, it doesn't have any missiles. That's probably one of the downsides. Maybe um, Gaijin will bring that in later, though. I think the uh, Puma is armed with the Spike uh, ATGM, uh, so maybe we could see that at some point. But it looks beautiful. So it looks like Germany's uh, getting the uh, SU-22, the East German version. Uh, I'm pretty happy for them that they're getting this. Uh, Germany's always been a little bit weak at top tier for close air support platforms, and the uh, SU-22 looks to have some pretty good um, weapons options, um, pretty robust close air support, and uh, it's good that they're actually getting this plane. So that's a good addition. And next up, we've got the Challenger 2 Black Knight. Now, I was surprised to see this. I didn't expect to see it so soon after we just had the Challenger TS. But what's awesome about this one is it has a hard kill APS system. Uh, and it works similar to the uh, T55 AMD-1 uh, that I just showed you. So good times for for Britain. If you hadn't started grinding uh, for the British uh, ground before, maybe you ought to start now um, because their top tier is shaping up to be very nice. I'm, uh, I'm going to start on this. I mean, there's so many things I got to start on now, but I am looking forward to the Black Knight. And who knows, you know, maybe maybe we'll get the Ajax uh, infantry fighting vehicle for Britain one of these days to go along with their top tier. That would be nice to see. But for now, I'm satisfied uh, with the Black Knight. So uh, good job, Gaijin. Glad you put this one in. So sliding in at 8.7 for China is the Type 88. And this looks to be a pretty good addition. Um, the Chinese uh, 8.7 lineup is already pretty nice. Um, there are a lot of... A lot of tanks to pick from at the 8.7 BR uh, so adding the type 88 just bolsters that uh, this was a pretty pretty good addition I'm glad they're at least paying attention to Chinese ground but honestly this will probably be one of the last things I start grinding out although I'm glad it's there um, I'll get to it eventually but the type 88 mm, meh okay so more stuff for China coming on here. We have the Type 96, a prototype, a premium, and this will be at 9.7. You know, China has the uh, T69 2G at 8.7. So, um, you know, uh, a higher level premium, I guess the Chinese version um, of the terms, at least in, in BR position, but I think it'll be okay. You'll be able to grind out Chinese top tier with this. You can see from the thermals right here, they're really not that great. Not as crispy as the ones on the terms, but it's fine. So another Chinese premium for you. So moving on to Italy here, I'm pretty happy Italy finally has gotten the F-104 ASA, although very late. And at this point in time, it is kind of obsolete compared to a lot of the other players that are out on the field. However, it does get AM-9Ls, and it does get the ASPID semi-active radar homing missile, which I'm kind of excited for. We'll see though. We'll see how effective this is because you can't carry missiles with a gun. You just don't get a gun. You either get four AM9Ls or two ASPIDs, but no gun in either configuration. So yay for Italy, I guess, right? Yeah. So, um, sad, you know, just like for Italy, I'm kind of sad for France in this patch. Uh, looks like they're only picking up the ELC BIS, which is a good addition. I'm happy to uh, get this little tank. 
uh, already has some limitations, you know, running around in it, you can't really traverse the turret um, very far to the left or right. So you can have to move the entire hole in the direction. Um, it's really low to the ground, so it's going to be really difficult to acquire and uh, take this thing out. But I was hoping for more for France, uh, perhaps a a better plane, you know, something like a Mirage F1. But um, it seems that we've been disappointed again. So we got the ESL ELC BIS, and I'll just be happy about it and take what we get. So moving on to Sweden, um, Sweden picks up the STRV 105. Uh, which is another Centurion, pretty nice, but a really updated one. It has uh, thermal sights on this bad boy, so uh, yay for Sweden. But one of the things that uh, really shocked me is that Sweden got a helicopter tech tree before China did. And Sweden now has an Apache um, at top tier helicopters for Sweden, which is pretty shocking. I know Sweden um, did test the uh, Apache. And they also tested the Mi-28A Havoc way back in the day. Uh, they ended up not, of course, um, pursuing or purchasing any of those, but they did um, test the Havoc. So they have the Apache and now they don't have the Havoc. I mean, this opens up, a, opens up the case for lots of other nations um, that tested something, but didn't actually um, buy it and why don't they have it in the tech tree so i don't know um this opens gaijin up to a lot of um uh, a lot of salty players out there that are going to be asking why why doesn't the nation i play also get this thing that they tested out but didn't end up buying so like i said happy for sweden all of their helicopters before the apache are going to be equipped with some version of a tow missile so a really good um anti-tank platform there once we get up to the Apache at 10.3, and it's good to have an Apache at 10.3, it's going to be Hellfires, of course. It'll have the RB-74, which is a, B, I believe, an AM-9L equivalent, all aspect infrared missile, and it'll also be able to pack the Stinger missile. So very nice uh, for Sweden. The Apache will definitely be able to fill uh, some gaps in the close air support. Uh, role for Sweden at top tier. So next up is the Israeli ground tech tree. Gaijin's introducing this tech tree this patch, which is pretty good. We've been waiting on it for a little bit. I'm a little bit um, lukewarm to it though, and here's why. A lot of the vehicles are planned or are coming soon. Um, so we have a lot of the M60s, the Magox, that are in the uh, tech tree right now. But the Merkavas, like the Mark 3C, the Mark 3B, are titled soon. Tanks like the Tehran 6, you know, the Tehran 4S is in the tech tree now, but the Tehran 6 is planned. The Merkava Mark 4M Trophy with the APS hard kill system is planned. The Merkava Mark 4 LIC is also planned. According to the picture, at least, the Mark IV Baz is supposed to be here. Maybe that'll be on the next dev stream, I don't know. But from what we got, if you like M60s, you're gonna be pretty happy. Uh, the Magog 6B is looking pretty good. We have um, the Turan 4S, like I was just talking about, which is 105 millimeter equipped T55 with lots of Israeli upgrades. So that's gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, Western ammunition. I'm kind of interested in, in checking uh, the captured Israeli vehicles that were converted. I think that's going to be pretty um, pretty different, at least. The Shot Kyle Gamel, a Mark, you know, excuse me, a, a Centurion. Lots of Centurions and lots of M60s, which is fine. Got the Mark 1B up here. And if you've already have the Merkavas in the US tech tree, you know, not a whole lot of new stuff here. Um, standard Merkavas. Mark II B. Looking pretty good. All right. So closing it out here with a little uh, AAA. You know, we got the Havet. Uh, just, you know, M163 Vulcan. Pretty standard here. And we got the um, Mach Bet, which is a spicier version with Stinger missiles. 
This one looks like it's going to be pretty interesting. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close it out there. Um, overall, okay. I'm excited about some stuff. As Sweden getting helicopters is pretty funny. Um, Germany getting the Puma. Awesome. Hard kill APS systems coming. That's also awesome. Really love that. And of course, the A10. Um, hopefully, we get some more stuff in another dev stream. And France and Italy um, can stop crying in the corner and get something good. But uh, thanks for uh, checking us out, guys. Um, I'll see you in another video. Thank you.